Hey guys, guess what? I'm giving you a little YouTube short here, a little PSA and some information that we just found out last week at uh, Dig or Die. This is the stock bypass valve for the supercharger on Sharon's car here. We took it off. Talking with some guys down at uh, Dig or Die, the Mid-America Customs guys, they had a couple blowers that started having heat issues and, and blowing apart um, because the bypass valve wouldn't work anymore. And we find out that these things take between you know, 9 and 12 pounds of vacuum to open them fully. So at idle, you want to open this so that you're not actually putting boost into the engine. Um, but you need vacuum to do so. When you have a big cam and a big engine, you produce less vacuum, and it's not enough to open this. So it kind of flutters back and forth with the bypass. So right here we got the logs. This is Sharon's car when she broke the drive shaft. So before the new engine. And she's making almost nine pounds of vacuum at idle. It's idle, nine pounds of vacuum, you know, 10 AFR, Lambda, whatever. So enough to open this guy up. But if we kind of go to the log after the new engine, so this is from recently, you can see that she's only making three pounds of vacuum at idle. Um, and idle's a little higher, obviously, but. You know, we can go wherever we want to with kind of the idle thing here. And this is the engine's fully warmed up. So she's only making three pound, or three to four pounds of vacuum, not enough to open this. So we were having an issue where uh, the car would chug and surge and cam really hard. Um, and it would take a while to warm up because it was doing all that. So what we did was we switched out um, because of the Mid-American Customs guys. And we talked to Greg at Kong. We switched out to the new low vacuum bypass valve that we got from Kong Performance and I will say immediately as soon as we put it on the car from dead cold start you know you cold start and it's running rich and you know you got to try to get the engine going normally it'd take like a minute for the car to warm up you know stop really running a little rough the AFRs would come back up to 1.0 and kind of do their thing we put that on there it was less than 10 seconds from cold start to when the engine just smoothed out, ran AFRs right at 1.0, and it really made a difference. And then we took this log here of Sharon driving the car, and you can see we're in still in a bunch of vacuum, and bypass valve is open, you know, and all that kind of good stuff. And when she needed to, she was, you know, it was raining, so she's not exactly going to beat on the car when it's raining. But you can see the the vacuum doesn't even get close to that eight or nine number we were seeing before but when she wanted to get in the boost it did in fact go right into actual positive pressure or boost pressure pretty easily pretty effectively right at you know wherever she was in the throttle position sensor and all that kind of good stuff there one pound of boost but just want to make that quick video that these things if you have a big cam and pay attention to your engine vacuum if you're not making stock vacuum get rid of the stock valve and get the low low vacuum valve on there Greg at Kong has them has them on the shelf just order and put them on there it's 200 bucks and you can almost guarantee you're not gonna blow a snout off the car and that's it